Monday morning. It's currently 7.37, and I about got up like about an hour ago or so. Uh, currently, right here, I'm exporting one of my videos. I'm gonna do like a screen test here in a moment. Kinda wanna make this video kinda like showing like the day in the life. Uh, today is my day off of work, so I'm gonna do some stuff on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna write some stuff, probably go to Starbucks. And also just kinda showing like the day in the life of my entrepreneurship side of things and also uh, my YouTube side and filmmaking side and just kind of showing how I go about things and just showing my day overall. So about this time in the morning, I like to get some exercise. I like to go for a walk, I like to do some gym exercise out in the backyard. And I like to get my day started. I already had something to eat, I had eggs and toast every morning. That's something that helps boost my energy for the level for today and also boost my productivity. Home sweet home. Also, I realized that like you guys have never seen the back end of my office. Usually I have the camera pointed here to here. I'm either on this chair or this chair. But anyways, uh, I guess we'll go from right to left uh, just to give you guys a breakdown on where I do my shit and like how I do it. So over here, this is where I keep. Uh, so yeah, like this is my script pickup at Arby's. I'm also editing this right now. I'm gonna do a screen test later, which you guys will see. Right here, I kind of have my business journals and some stuff. So right now I'm reading this book called Feel Good Productivity by Ali Abdul. He's also another YouTuber and he does a lot of stuff regarding productivity, self-improvement and stuff. So I've been using this book for get my energy levels the way they are and I can like be more productive in both my work outside of uh, YouTube and my YouTube and filmmaking stuff and kind of balancing everything. So this book has been pretty helpful if you're like a YouTuber or anything. I recommend using this because it's really good for business as well. Uh, right right here, I just have a bunch of journals for like my, my editing. It's like my editing notes and shit. And over here, I have my editing, more editing notes for my YouTube videos and stuff. This is kind of like my plan yesterday. So for example, yesterday, this is what I wrote down. Uh, like Nick Parr, I had to get like the clips for this one video that I was working on. And then like the subscribe element, then export it, then <laughs> uh, upload details, uh, thumbnail, and also uh, plan out the day in the life video. So this is like, I had to plan out the, this video the day before. So I actually did this yesterday. So everything I have planned out today, I planned out yesterday. Then I kind of have watch Arby's for ideas, screen tests, and then I have a bunch of other stuff that I was gonna plan on doing. So I, I mentioned a few times on this channel, I did, you know, business before, I did like one or two other businesses, and then I did other YouTube channel. I used to not have this office, I recently built this office like about like uh, five, six months ago uh, for more like, <laughs> more proper way. I had like a little shitty office back there before, but I would do everything right here. I will literally do everything right here on this couch with this here, my laptop right there. <laughs> that was my office. I recorded it, I did my voice, and I did all my emails, I did everything. I did my editing on my my chair right there. But ever since I built my new office, I have uh, my desktop for advanced editing, and I have my little laptop, which is like kind of for uh, just doing research, uh, writing scripts and stuff, and I have more room to write uh, on my journals and stuff. So I'm really proud of this, uh, this desk that I built and I have more room. And it feels like my own like, little apartment back here. So I think here is where all the magic happens. This is basically where I edit all my shit. I edit everything on Cape Cut, my videos, my movies, everything on Cape Cut. I used to do iMovie for my gaming channel and I had to hire editors for like the advanced ones. I'm really proud that I actually like, <laughs> I, I have this desktop now and I got Cape Cut because it's it's way easier to do it now. Only thing is like this computer is very slow sometimes. It was already lagging here for a moment, but it, it's going back to normal. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. Like I, I can still do my shit and it's still there. So it's not the biggest priority right now. So right now I'm gonna do a screen test here in about like 30 minutes or so. Uh, it's still processing, so I'm gonna wait for that. Next up I wanna show you guys the whiteboard. This is the whiteboard. <laughs> Nothing special, I just wanna like, just keep this like in mind and kind of like the vision in mind. Pick up an Arby's, that's my second short film that I'm doing. And then The Sunshine State, that's my first feature film, which is completely improvised and written by AI, which is also really, really cool. Um, both both projects I'm really looking forward to. April 5th is unrealistic date. Um, this is video will probably out somewhere uh, before or after this date. Um, if it is, if, if the movie's out, awesome, but most likely it won't be. <laughs> I just, uh, it's just been hard to film. I don't know, it's crazy. But that's kind of like my office area. Um, 
yeah, I mean, you got some like little like uh, St. Patrick's Day decorations up there and stuff. Only thing is I might need to get new computers in the future just because I know this laptop I had major problems with uh, like about a half a year ago. It was just, uh, it just kept breaking down. I had to keep taking it to the shop. But anyways, I'm gonna do a screen test here in a moment and let's see what happens. The destination is on your left. <laughs> Best actor in the movie. <laughs> That's my one and only cameo. <laughs> this seems banger. So that whole scene right there that I just did, that's all new to me, so. I've been doing some screen tests. Like usually I do a bunch of screen tests beforehand, like for the weekend, especially. I did like 20 <laughs> just cause that was my first one and I want to make it perfect. There is like a few things that I need to change, like some audio things, some things in the background, uh, maybe some of the, like the quality and stuff. But I just like to do these uh, like screen tests once in a while, just so I can get like the best out of the picture and kind of like make the project as best as possible you know i spent like months on the weekend itself and i'm spending months on this project so i just like to take my time and kind of just like even like little things like audio in the background if you hear like static or if things are loud enough i want to i want to make sure every aspect of the movie is uh like good and not <laughs> nothing like half-assed i finished the screen test and so so far so good i mean there's a few things i really want to change uh, it's just hard to tell since I have like about 70% of the footage. I don't have everything. So it's like, it's hard to uh, judge the movie in its whole. Uh, just because there is a lot of things that I might want to change. I might want to like change some scenes, uh, change up a little bit of the plot a little bit just because some of it doesn't really feel organic. I, I wrote down some notes here that I want to fix my editing, like some voiceovers I want to redo. Uh, black bars and kind of like just editing stuff I have at the moment. Two hours later. So I just got back home. Um, I kind of had to get away from my computer for a while just because I was getting a little bit annoyed with pickup at Arby's and kind of just finishing up the editing and stuff. But I think it's going to come out great. Uh, I got to just plan out the other scenes better and just kind of, I might have to redo like a, one or two other scenes. Um, I'm really happy of like how the first few minutes are coming out, but I think, and it's kind of frustrating when I'm kind of back here and editing in my uh, new office. Uh, I love my new office, but sometimes it just becomes its own little bubble. And sometimes I just gotta get out and uh, once in a while I might go to Starbucks to do some writing. So, cause that's kind of like been my new writing spot where I just go there, write, and all these new ideas come up. And this kind of goes with like, kind of like my whole entrepreneur journey so far, you know? Obviously, I started my house. I, I started on this couch right here, um, and you know, back there. But I think getting out of your environment is also very important. If you know, if you work best at your home, great. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I have to go to like a coffee shop. Sometimes I might have to go uh, somewhere else. Uh, for example, like I went on vacation maybe like four or five months ago. I did great. Like in my business, in my teacher business, I got excellent progress in that. And I was in a hotel room and I was on vacation. So it just depends on like, I guess your location as well. This is so... <laughs> Just got done uh, doing my writing block in, uh, in Starbucks. Uh, ain't no way I'm gonna record the part of the vlog in there. But anyways, yeah, it's pretty relaxing when I come in. I don't usually drink coffee or anything. It's just a really fun like place to uh, get ideas. I got a lot done today. I got like two and a half pages or whatever. That's a good progress for me. That's a good time. I was only here like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Um, got, a lot, got a lot of good stuff. I'm looking forward to getting more stuff done. About like 60% done with the, the movie. But yeah, uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna get done more today just cause I have other chores and other stuff to do. So probably I'll just do like a little bit tomorrow. I know I got some like filming and me and my friends might like meet up just for like a brief meeting or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Day two, right now I'm currently editing more of Pick Up Arby's. I actually recently got Cape Cut Pro, so I actually have a lot of new features and transitions and effects 
So I'm kind of just like playing around, see what I can change up, uh, see what I can make better. Uh, like for instance, let me just show you this real quick. Like I added this new effect where it's like more of like a blurred vision where Evan gets shot and like it's kind of like blurry. Blurry now like you see his eyes and then that's when it transitions to like the blurred screen and then, then he falls down. So just like little things like that really add to like the overall effects and overall like quality of the movie. And Cape Cut is actually really, really well. It's, I prefer it over Premiere Pro just cause like there's just so much, uh, it's, it's cheaper for one and it's more easier to use. Later today, I might do a little bit of B-roll filming. Uh, I might have Evan come over to do some voiceovers for some of the scenes and stuff. Uh, overall, you know, pick up at Arby's. Might take a little while than expected. And kind of like, I've been redoing some of it recently and preparing for my next project, which sometimes I get ahead of myself. Sometimes I just want to skip to the next one since like this one's taking so long. But sometimes I gotta be like, hey, let's focus on this. Let's get this one as best as possible. Then let's focus on the future stuff and also making weekly videos in the meantime and having a full-time job. does It's a lot sometimes, but I, I get through it and you know just want to make the best content as possible and sometimes i have to do sacrifice a lot for uh the quality of the channel just make best videos as possible and that's the, that's a deal with being a youtuber you gotta be committed to make good videos and make it even better than the last one and you need to improve and keep improving as you go along your youtube journey oh my gosh it was so funny right now this little kid was like across the street and he was looking at me i was doing it like some b-roll and shit and he was like what are you doing? Are you making a movie? I'm like, yeah, I'm making a movie. <laughs> but it was like so weird it out. It was so, it was so funny. But sometimes I like to get some B-roll. I never know what I might use. So I like to get stuff around the city and there's a lot of nice locations and some stuff that I like to capture. So that's what I like to do when I have a little bit of free time, just get some B-roll. But anyways, this is probably it for the vlog. Uh, me and Evan, we're gonna do like a bit of voiceovers later. I might get a little clip of that. I'm not too sure yet. And with that being said, thanks for watching. Hopefully Pick Up at Arby's comes out in, in a few weeks. So subscribe to see Pick Up at Arby's and the Sunshine State coming out in a few months, hopefully in summer. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.